Hey everyone, GSF Anthony here, and today I'm going to be doing a video showing you how to make a custom PS3 theme. Um, if you checked out some of my older videos, I have two themes that I personally made the Resident Evil theme and the Dot Hack theme. I don't have an annotation for those videos in this video, that way you can go and check them to see how it turns out. Because it's not the best, because I think it's kind of for like an older version. Not every icon will be changed, there will be some that will remain unchanged, and the lots will be duplicates. But I mean, it's still pretty nice being able to make your own. So all you'll need to do this is, of course, a PS3, or somebody has a PS3, whoever you're making the theme for. A flash drive, because you'll need that to put the files onto the PS3. And then for the computer, you'll need some kind of extracting software. I use WinRAR and some kind of photo editing program, which I'm going to use Paint Shop Pro 7, only because I found this to be the easiest to use for this situation. But I'm sure you can use pretty much anyone, even the simple paint that comes on computers. So to start it off, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to this file save where I had the file uploaded. You'll go down to the bottom here, type in these stupid code things and then you'll wait the 17 seconds to download it but I actually already have for some reason two copies of it on my computer which right here these how to make PS3 themes so this will download into how to make the PS3 theme then what you want to do is extract it of course yep I want to extract it then you'll get this file where it will be create, assemble, install. I mean, and here goes even a guide in the thing if you want to figure out how to use it. And it's really simple to follow. But in the create folder, you'll see a bunch of images for all these different things. And this will be all the things that will change. So basically, whatever photo you would put on Friends Add Me, where Friends Add Me used to be, is where whatever photo you put there is going to be. But here's the thing you need to notice. Each, some of these have different sizes, but most of them are 128 by 128. So basically, when putting a photo there, you're going to want to make sure that it's the same size as the default icon that's there. So I'm not going to go and do all these because that will take way too long, but I am going to do one. So since I like Resident Evil, I'll do a freaking Resident Evil picture and show you what I think are the best ones to grab. And since Jill's my favorite, I'll grab Jill. So I'll search for Jill. You know, technically you can use any of these photos and you can like crop around if you wish or crop whatever you wish out. But for me, the best ones to grab are these ones with the white backgrounds. Because this is why I like the uh, Paint Shop Pro because I found this these ones easy to use. So just save the photo to wherever you want it to go. Okay, you can load up now. Okay, I'm going to save it to my desktop only so I can get to it way easier. So Jill's on my desktop. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to put Jill. It doesn't really matter. See, this one's 128 by 128, so I'll put it right there at the friends add me. So in case you are using Paint Shop Pro, I'll show you how to do it really simple in there. And if you're using something else, they might have some of the same similar things that you can use. So I'll just drag Jill into here. I'm definitely going to resize her to the size of the one file, so 128 by 128, which is going to make her look really funky, but once it's on the PS3, it's not as funky looking. You know, I kind of should have did something else first, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now I just got to figure this thing out again. At colors, I will set the palette transparency. I'll optimize it, and then I'll set the transparency to white. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Screw all that that I just said. Get this dropper. Get the dropper and then right click in the white background and I'll select all the white. Then you go to the set palette transparency and set the transparency to white. And then the other thing you have to note is the file type. It's a PNG image. So you have to save it as a PNG image or else it won't work so I'll go ahead and save her as a PNG image okay so select the PNG image portable network graphics now here's where the thing is you can either save it to your computer and go and drop it on top of there and like delete it but I'm just going to save it directly 
into her, like, into that spot. So I'm just going to save it directly over the add friends icon. Yes, I want to replace it. So now if you go here, you'll see Jill is now where add friends is. So basically on the PS3, she'll be in that place instead. Now you just do that with all of these. But the only one I want to make a little bit of a reference to is the wallpaper. Now these are the ones that you don't have to do like really any kind of editing besides resizing to, unless if you wish to edit them and change them yourself. But if you're playing on a standard definition, then you'd want to use the standard definition one, which you would make the file 640 by 480 and drop it there. And if you're playing on the HD, you'll want to make it 1920 by 1080 and drop it there. So I got a bunch of just random backgrounds and crap, so I'll go ahead and do one of them. We'll just use the Spec Ops. Okay, so... We want the image to be 1920 by 1080. This is for HD because I play on an HD TV. So now we'll make that pretty big. And now we got to also match the file types up because these are JPEG images. Unlike most of these are PNG. So we'll just save this as a JPEG, which it already is. And we'll just go and drop it right over top of the HD and it only will give you those two options if your computer is set up like a newer computer so then just save it right over that and replace it and there we go now that would be my background the big preview that's not really important if you wish to have it you can all that will do is like when you're selecting your themes it will have a little picture of the preview of the theme and then that's pretty much all there is to here really Okay, so we'll just say that I did all these, even though I didn't. So the next step is, no, I don't want to go here. So just like there was two steps, now you would go to assemble. All right, well, after you got all your pictures into the folder, which I still don't, you're going to go ahead and you can close it if you want, or you just basically got to go and open up the PS3 themes folder again. You're going to want to have it open twice. Why did I go to desktop? So basically you want it open twice. If you have Windows 7 it's nice because you can do this. One you want in create, the other you would want in assemble. So go into the create one where you have all your images and find the file that says PS3 template. Drag and drop that right onto the P3T compiler. And it'll go through all this. It'll tell you if there's any errors in what the file that has the error is. And it'll just go through and it's basically making everything right. So now it says done. So now we'll go on to the next step, which is basically just putting it onto your PS3, which I'm not going to do that because I don't want to switch the camera over to my PS3. But basically what you're going to do is take the PS3 where to go why am I all the way down here this the PS3 template P3T and I take this one just in case but they say you don't have to but for some reason it doesn't work unless I take both you would take both these and drop them onto your flash drive okay hold up I'll be right back I'll go get my flash drive alright so I got my flash drive now and that's what it's telling me to open up so open it up because it should already be set now here's the important thing on your the root of your flash drive make a folder called PS3 and name it just like this I'm not sure how strict it is but all capitals no space PS3 then inside of that make another folder called theme all capital letters like you see on my screen and then inside of there is where you want to drop the PS3 template P3T I already have one in here, so I'm going to get rid of it because I don't know what it is. If you rename it, it's definitely going to get deleted. And then you drop it into there. And then that's when it's ready to get put onto the PS3. So basically, you would just put it in the PS3. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys anyway. So it's going to switch over cameras. All right, everyone. Once you have your flash drive and your PS3 and your PS3 on... And there goes my name off track if, if you want to add me right there. Okay, so basically once it's all on there, you would go down to your, where'd it go? Theme settings. Just like you would be putting on a new theme. Click on theme.
go up to install and then it'll read your USB you would click that display theme title that's what it would be and it says a file already names because apparently you're only allowed to have one custom theme up at a time which sucks now okay where'd you go okay now I don't know which one it is it must be this one yep see and then that's the background I had I don't know where Jill's picture she's up here see add a friend that's where I put Jill and she's right there so basically almost all these photos would be taken up there's some that aren't but still pretty nice so I'm gonna go back to my old one the one this was my very first theme I created it I know it looks kinda bad in some areas but oh well someday I'll go over it and fix it again so that, that's all I hope I helped if you guys have any questions you can go ahead and ask and I'll see if I can answer them if I can maybe somebody else who watches the video will be able to answer it for you but I'll try my best so thanks for watching go ahead like the video subscribe so you know when I upload my next video